Hello and welcome to another video tutorial from ComputerGuardGuard.com. This tutorial will look at using the indirect function in order to reference other sheets of a book. We would like to use the indirect function within a VLOOKUP so that our VLOOKUP will work across sheets and reference other sheets within a book. Typical example we've got at the moment, we have uh, some data for a kind of summary sheet and we want to pull the summarised data from each independent store one sheet. So we have these small tables with a car sales for each of the stores. We want to pull that information onto our summary sheet by, by looking up across sheets. So what we're going to do, we're going to start up a VLOOKUP in cell C3 here equals a VLOOKUP opening bracket and start up a VLOOKUP in our usual way. So that's going to ask us for our lookup value, and we're looking up the car, car one across each of them sheets. Now I'm going to do one extra thing to sell B3 there, a reference to car one. I've got to press the F4 function key uh, three times here uh, to give me a, a mixed reference. I could have quite easily typed the dollar sign in, pressing F4 three times. Mixed reference, a reference that fixes the column but not the row. The reason for this is when I've finished with the formula in this cell, I'd like to copy it across to the right, ensuring it will not change column. It will remain in column B, looking at car one. But when I copy it down, it will move to car two. So I'm fixing one side and not the other. I can then put in a comma, so that the VLOOKUP will ask for the table array. Where would you like to look for car one? Well. I want to look for it in all the sheets, but pull back what's in store one. So I'm to look across all the sheets. For this, we're going to use our indirect because we need to reference a sheet's name. The sheet names are in row two there. So I'm going to type indirect, which is a function that returns a reference specified by a text string. Opening bracket. So ask us, right, what is this reference text? So we're going to have to concatenate some strings here. The first thing I'm going to do, because store one is two words, there is a space in there, within the double inverted commas, I'll need to put what I believe is an apostrophe, but that character that you find below the uh, the at symbol on your, on your keyboard, which you need when you've got spaces within a sheet's name. And I'm going to concatenate that with that ampersand, I'm going to concatenate it with a reference to cell C2 to tell it to look within store one. Then I'm going to use my F4 key again for a, a different mixed reference to before to fix the row but not the column. Because I'm copying it across to the right, I want it to change column. When I copy it down, I want it to fix the row, do not come out of row two. I will then concatenate that reference once again, double inverted commas to a closing apostrophe, followed by an exclamation mark, which you always get after the sheet name when you reference a sheet. And then by uh, the cell reference, which is, I don't know if you saw my brief look before, uh, but it's A1, putting the dollar signs here to fix the reference, to B3. A1 to B3 is the range, dollar signs to fix it, closing double invert commas. So that should concatenate an open apostrophe, store one, so we'll get out of C2, closing apostrophe, exclamation mark A1 to B3, i.e. store one A1 to B3. I'll then put my closing bracket to close the indirect function, bring in a comma, ask it to return whatever's in column two, which will be the sales for car one, comma, and a false for an exact match. So that is our formula. What I'm trying to do is use the indirect function to reference the various sheets across row, row two. If I press enter, it returns 300, because that is what store one has for car one. But more importantly, I can select that cell, copy it across and down, and to pull out the related information 
from each sheet. So this is just a quick and easy example of using indirect to reference sheet names within a formula. In this case, the VLOOKUP so that we can look across sheets. Thank you for watching. Hope you found it useful. Please check out some of our other tips and tricks which you find on our blog at computergaga.com.